Playoffs? Did somebody say playoffs? Red Rhino Nation, it's time for the wild card round with Red Rhinos versus Exit Humanity. Here we are, trying to get a win to carry on through the playoffs. We've had a crazy round. Let's just go ahead and see what happened. We might as well check it out. Oh! Well, it was close. Kind of. Uh, we struggled on Town Hall 11. They actually cleared all of our 11s, and we managed to get 6, which puts our 12s in a little bit of a tough spot, of course, uh, because they basically have to get it done with just a couple hits. They needed, you know, we needed 3 dips. Then they have to get the 3 stars. So there we go with the 87-87. Good job to you guys. Uh, we wish you the best of luck in the playoffs, for sure. Uh, it was a pleasure. And, uh, you know, now we're getting ready to do some upgrades. But let's go ahead and check out what happened on this war. We had quite a few Sixers on the uh, on the Town Hall 10s. Let's just go ahead and scroll up here. I'm going to go too fast. Unknown, Esperanza. We had Stickman73, Daisy, Nice One, Gary, and... Did I miss somebody? I think I, think I missed Evo, actually. Uh... So those were our six packers, and we started off on fire on the Town Hall 10. So good job to you guys, and you know gave us a couple of hits that we could use for 11s and 12s. Uh, but again, our, our 12s just struggled a little bit. We did have basically a hit from each, so we are going to go ahead and take a look at a couple Town Hall 10s, as well as some 11s. We're just going to go ahead and travel on up here. Let me go ahead and click around and find number 22 there we go with stickman he's loving the dragon storm so that's what we're going to go ahead and show he can pretty much find a way to do the dragon storm on almost any attack so let's check out how he did this okay what do we got here Starting off with, uh, is that a little goblin up there on the town hall? It sure is. Might as well go ahead and get something going up there. And then he's got an archer. He had a few extra camp space, so that's what he decided to go ahead and do. You know, king and queen on one side. He is hoping to have the queen take down that AD and, you know, maybe even the whiz tower. Just basically use that little blank area in the wall space for the funneling as well as the king and the queen. So he goes ahead and zaps the back two, essentially. As because he knows now he's gonna go ahead and get that queen in there. The king, he's already done a nice job of the funneling at the top. He used his ability to get down a little bit. You see where the sweepers are. So uh, good spot for the dragons to come in. And you know, basically three, two, six, and there they come. Storming in. Uh, so you know, with the dragon storm, you're basically left with a rage, a haste, and a poison. This was a fresh hit. So, you know, I always like to bring a poison on the fresh hit, uh, just because if you get a witch, you can be in some trouble. And let's just go ahead and see what he does. He holds on to the, the rage. No, there it goes. Uh, along with the poison for the queen, which is perfect. I'm not seeing any CC troops coming out, or am I missing them? You know, these old eyes get, uh, get a little rough. So it looks like he is good to go using that poison on the queen. Then he uses the slammer on the backside, which I do love that as well, because it keeps those dragons pushed in and kind of clumped together. And dragons together equals three star normally. And you can see, nothing really left. Am I going to four times it? Maybe not. We'll go ahead and just watch the end here with all the uh, dragon fire happening. And is it finished? And yes. Good job, Stick, and great season to you, buddy. I, I can't remember what exactly uh, your hit rate was, but killed it all season, so good job to you. And this happens to be uh, my account, and look at me go with Little Frozen Witch. You can see where the outside of those archer towers are, so I had to be really careful where I set my witches so that I wouldn't get some taken down immediately. So I'm just waiting for the funnel. It's usually the five witches and two healers on each side waiting for the funnel and then I put my wrecker down along with the witches to follow so there they go and once I have enough of everything funneled now I do get a little bit worried here with the uh, king and the queen uh, enemy king queen so I believe I use a freeze here there we go and then my king queen nothing else to nowhere else to go really except for inside so I go ahead and put them down I use that freeze on that center inferno and this you know base was lined up perfectly with really no ADs to worry about for the healers and the infernos are lined up 
right in line with the town hall. If that happens, you got a good chance to use the strat. And you can see I'm just trying to use the freezes to keep that wrecker up as long as possible. We're obviously in double time now because we can see this is going pretty good. My wrecker finally goes and I use my heal rage. And let's see, what do we got? Yeah, Queen's looking good. She still has her ability. I still have two wizards to go. A ton, ton of skellies over there on the right hand side. No problem. This one's going to be a three. So another fresh hit. And that was a six packer as well. So those are our Town Hall 10s. We're going to go ahead and I believe we should have time for four 11s. So we'll uh, travel on up to number 12 to begin with. Let's see if I could see number 12. With two IC. Nope, cat. My bad. So cat five cane coming in. Look at this. A nice little, it's looking like it's going to be some kind of uh, queen charge Lalo. Oh, I like that with some wall breakers. Okay, let's check this out. Starting off on the corner, uh, used a couple wizards there to make sure that the queen goes over to the right or basically up toward three o'clock. Waits on those healers uh, so that it's just outside of the range of that AD. Love it. And then leading with the loon to go ahead and take out the mortar. Nice little test wall breaker. The uh, Not only does the loon lead to take out the mortar, but in case there's any Sams there, that helps. Uh, this was a fresh hit. Good job with the rage. And then, of course, the king is over there to help funnel the queen in. So uh, queen's looking pretty good. The rage managed to hit the queen and the healers. Always a good thing. And here comes the hound. Oh boy, but that's okay. He does. He'll probably use a minion uh, to help with the uh, the pups once they pop. So he's a cool customer. He's going to go ahead and use a rage just to make sure to keep her up. He already has a queen down, remember. And you can see he's in good line to probably be able to get that eagle without a problem. So there comes the minion to help with the pups. Queen's not going to have a problem getting all this down, so now he's just waiting. See, there he goes. He puts his jump down, and I like how he puts it down in the middle because the queen can still have access to all those other buildings, uh, but then, you know, he knows exactly where she is going. She is going to go for the eagle, and uh, then he should be able to do his Lalo without a problem. Now, he does have, so you can see on that back side, uh, his healers were kind of getting hit by the expo, and then the eagle last hit almost took him out. I mean, they have a sliver left, uh, but phew, thank goodness they stayed up just so that she can stay up a little bit longer. See, the king's going to come over. He phases her, but he's already got the Lalo going uh, with his warden following. It's looking a little bit scary, actually, right here, just because of some of the stuff that's up, but then that slammer comes in to lead everything, and... He should be fine. Look at that with, oh yeah, no problem here. He's got a ton of stuff left. He already put his minions down to help with the cleanup. He's good to go. Nice three, and that was a fresh three star. So good job, Cat5. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, let's travel on up. I think we're gonna go to number nine. Yes, we are. Kelly Chris with an E-clone. Not something that you see all the time. So let's check it out. Here comes the E clone. All right, so he's going to lead with a giant. Fine. He's got uh, something going on at the top. It looks like I'm not scrolling down here. Uh, we got the king and a giant. Let's see, was this a fresh hit? This was a fresh hit. So nice job. Uh, he probably brings giants kind of on a standard just to help with, uh, you know, some tanking. Uh, here comes a couple loons down at the bottom. He wants to uh, make sure that his blimp is going to go in unscathed because he has to get in, uh, you know, pretty decent amount in order for that econ really to be effective. So he's got that going. Nice job hitting the clone. That can always be scary. And I can't tell if the queen is down. I believe she might be. He's having a little bit of trouble with the CC troops. Uh, otherwise, uh, he's, he did get a nice, pretty nice value with his heroes up at the top. So now he has three ADs to contend with. But his pathing looks pretty good for the Lala. Let's just see how he does it here. He's got a couple hounds going in with the loons, followed by the warden uh, in some scary area there with all those uh, wizard towers. Yikes! And he use, uses the uh, haste to get in just in time to get a oh, really nice uh, warden ability there with the eagle coming down firing on those loons. 
You're coming in for the Inferno, coming right around. La 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 la, and here we go. Let's see, is he gonna get his uh, other troops down? Yep, there we go. Right on the top side, he gets his minions down, so he should be good to go. Barely, yep, no problem. Those air skellies can sometimes be a pain, but he did manage to get that whiz tower down before those loons went down. So good job to you, Callie Chris. Way to go, and uh, with the e chrome. So that was our, I guess, our second 11. We still have time for a couple more. We are going to move it up to number six next. So number six is 2IC, who also happens to run a 10, a nice one with the six pack there. Uh, but he's coming in. Oh, let's see what we've got here. We've got some bats, uh, five healers. Must be a Pekka Bow Bat. Okay, let's check out what he does. He's using the king on one side to funnel and the baby dragon on the top. Good. So he's probably hoping his king goes down towards six o'clock to make sure that funnel gets set. You see he puts in the, the P.E.K.K.A. and the P.E.K.K.A. is going to go right up to that other elixir storage and then another P.E.K.K.A. on the other side. Uh, it looks like he is using his four P.E.K.K.A.s, which, yep, I like four or five, just kind of depending on the base. Uh, so it looks pretty good and nice that uh, his king ended up kind of going back and joining in. You know, at least a little bit of extra firepower there going right into that side. And then he's going to uh, lead with the wrecker coming in. So you can see he's going to end up getting uh, several expos along with hopefully that multi. Let's see if he's able to get over there. He might not be able to. Uses his warden ability to try to save as much as he can. His, yeah, his record's still going through, so he should be fine over there. And look at this, he uses some loons. I like that. He probably wasn't quite sure how far his record would get in, so he figured he could get, you know, some pretty good value with that. Uh, he's got two P.E.K.K.A.s over there uh, going right toward the Eagle. So his troops have split a little bit on him, but it's actually working out pretty well. Uh, here come the bats. A little bat wave action and he should end up freezing that whiz tower and I'm only seeing one other whiz tower that could possibly cause a problem and his troops are keeping it occupied so his bat should just be able to march right down there nice job putting the wizards down up at the top to keep things going here come the bat still he has his queen ability another freeze left completely crushed the base good job and that was a fresh hit well done Good job to you, buddy. Okay, we've got time for one more. This is Monk94. I had to show this one. Awesome Sui. We had uh, one other hit that was similar. You know, it was a Sui Lalo, uh, but he just decided to make adjustments. So we were all on voice for this last hit here. Uh, and it was, uh, you know, one of those 11 v 11s that we needed. So nice job with the bowler bounce to get that going. Then he's going to go ahead and drop his king. And he's hoping the king and the queen are going to march over towards 3 o'clock. Take down a couple Teslas, maybe a couple Wiz Towers and an AD along the way. And then he'll get his, uh, his Lalo going. And, and you can see he has a Skelly. So he's planning on getting the queen with uh, you know, Puffs and Skelly and Rage. So let's just see how this goes. All right, looking good so far. He's gonna get down that, and I like how he waited. <laughs> we were actually on voice going, ability, ability, ability! Uh, but it was nice that he waited because he did need to have that, uh, you know, the queen, he wanted the queen to pull over, so he had to wait just a little bit longer so that she would get the Wiz Tower down and go over. Leads with a couple giants just to keep the king up a little bit longer, king and queen both. So now you can see he's going to uh, use a couple of loons to help out a little bit. Got, got uh, one mine down and then just, of course, to lead with the slammer. Here comes a nice little hound trudging along. Uh, ooh, one loon takes a Sam, but that's okay. He should get those down along with the slammer, no problem. He has, where's Mr. Warden? Warden coming in. Attention, Warden. Come on, buddy. There you go. He comes in. Uh, just in time, you can see it's looking a little bit messy, a little scary, but he has a ton of loons. So as soon as uh, they get those, all of those uh, buildings down, now it is just like OP City. It looks great. 
a nice job with his little heel there. He still has a freeze, so that freeze is going to come in handy for that whiz tower, that whole corner back there. It's a really nice hit, good adjustment for that Sui Lalo uh, to come in and, and get us another 11 v 11 to give us a chance. You know, that's all we've ever wanted. We just needed to get some 11 v 11s to give us enough 12s to try to get a three uh, for the win. But couldn't quite do it. Great job, everybody. This season was a blast. You know, all of the times on boys, so many memories, so many final second wins. Uh, what a great alliance we had uh, with some of the Ham DC Black Diamond guys, along with all the other K KD clans. Um, so, you know, I just want to give a special shout out to so many people. I'm going to have to try to do it quick because, you know, I'm going to shed a tear. Uh, I'm going to miss everybody on voice. Uh, but thanks to Jode, Star, Will, you know, all the guys that uh, participated every just about every week. 2IC, Jules, Sarah, Tez, Ginger, DC, Bump, Timmy. Uh, of course, we again, we had quite a few from our uh, Kingdom clans as well. Uh, Deep, uh, Manos on voice tons of times. Thank you, buddy. I call him the Yoda of Town Hall 11 uh, Miners. Um, I'm going to forget some names, I'm sure, but, you know, Chief, awesome work all uh, season helping with getting, you know, herding cats, basically. You know how it is trying to get the, the rosters together. And definitely special thanks goes out to Layla Sam for all the fantastic graphics that she does for me. I appreciate you, girl. Um, I think that's all. So, you know, we do have the same alliance participating in NDL. I'm going to try to do some of the videos. I have just been really swamped, so I've already missed the first couple weeks, but I'll try to get something going there. Until then, you know, let's get upgrading, people, and Town Hall 13, here we come. We'll see you next time. Peace.